Hello guys and gals, and welcome to another episode of uh, Upgraded Sets. Today we're going to be looking at a set that has a very pretty shield, uh, known as uh, Sivirbs. It's very shiny and very pretty. Uh, I definitely like the graphic on Sivirbs. It's uh, certainly very interesting. Kind of reminds me of like a Medusa like head on the shield. Uh, it's just very pretty. Um, we also have uh, the weapon and the amulet for this set. It's not a very large set, only three pieces. Unfortunately, it does take up the weapon and the shield slot, uh, which are two really important slots, in my opinion. Um, it is relatively low level, though, at level 9, so it's uh, pretty easy to put on a low-level character. And it does have pretty nice damage um, because of the mechanics that are on this particular item, and uh, we're going to go over those together. So right off the bat, uh, let's take a look at Sivirb's Cudgel. So Sivirb's Cudgel has a uh, damage of 8 to 140 at maximum. Um, it is actually 8 to 36 at minimum. Uh, this has to do with the maximum damage effect on the weapon, along with uh, a maximum damage based on character level, and we'll go over that. Uh, it has a fast attack speed, and it is a uh, 37 strength requirement with only level 9. Uh, it has a variable maximum damage of 17 to 23, uh, which means it does have a perfect version, believe it or not. So a perfect Severb's Cudgel would be a 23 max damage. Um, we also have a da max damage based on character level, which is 1 per character level, up to 99. So at 99, you're rocking plus 99 maximum damage with the plus 23 that's already on the item for a total of 140 maximum damage, which is pretty darn beast. We also have 75 bonus to attack rating, which is always nice to have on a weapon. Uh, we have 50% damage bonus to undead, which of course is because it's a mace class. Um, and that functions as off-weapon ED, so very nice. Uh, we also have the Amulet, which is uh, Severb's Icon, and uh, that is also level 9, with a uh, Replenish Life 4, Regenerate Mana 40%, which is pretty massive at level 9, uh, 25 Defense, and uh, Cold Resistance 25%. Uh, and these are green bonuses, and the green bonuses are kind of odd, because uh, they vary. So for some reason or another, it varies from 21 to 22, or sorry, um... Uh, that, that's the shield, my bad. I'm looking I'm looking at the wrong thing. Uh, so we got 25 defense for two items, or three items, and 25% uh, cold resistance for two items, uh, which is not bad. Um, you can rock, say, just the weapon and the amulet, and you can get pretty nice uh, resistances here. So you get that 25 cold and then the 25 fire from the one piece, uh, which isn't bad. You can also rock the uh, shield along with it, and you can get the full bonus. That's up to you. Um... We also have the Sivirbs Ward Large Shield, which is uh, 29 defense, 57% chance to block, uh, 2 to 4 smite damage, which is really low, uh, 34 in strength requirement, and level 9 required. It has a 15% increased chance to block, uh, which is definitely good, and uh, we have plus 15 flat defense on this, which is not the greatest, but it's, it's there. Uh, we also have two bonuses on this. Uh, both of them vary for some reason. And uh, they have to do with each item. So when you take off Sivirb's Icon, you lose the um, 21 to 22 mana, which uh, does vary for some reason. And when you take off the Scepter, you lose the 25 to 26% poison resist. Um, it's linked specifically to each item. Um, and then for the full bonus, uh, we get some very nice effects. Um, we get a... Uh, 25% bonus to attack rating, which is absolutely great. 25% uh, bonus is going to give us a pretty massive amount, uh, considering the flat amount that we have already. And then we have 200% damage bonus to undead, which is going to act like a free might aura. And at level 9, 200% uh, extra damage via might is actually going to stack up quite considerably, especially considering you got the 50% on the weapon as well. So we've got 250% bonus damage to undead at level 9. Uh, which makes this a massively good item, specifically for Act 2, which is absolutely full of undead monsters. Uh, we have 396 uh, 396 defense based on character level, um, and of course this is um, a variable. Um, it's going to give you a pretty massive amount of defense, and I think this was one of the things that they actually added to this set. It was not in there before, um, so do keep that in mind. Um, if we're at level 99, 396 is, of course, uh, what is that, 4 points per level? I'm pretty sure that's 4 points per level. And um, 
which means at level 9, we would be 9 at times 4, which is, uh, what is that, uh, can't even, I don't even know my, uh, my, my times table for 9s, always used to, always used to have trouble with 9s, uh, so it's 36 defense at level 9, uh, so not a bad little amount of defense there. We also get 15 to strength on this, which is certainly very nice to have because it'll help us put on an armor plate or uh, a very nice pair of boots or, uh, or a helmet, depending on uh, you know if we match it up with maybe like some Saigon's pieces or um, Erathas, things like that. It uh, kind of depends on what we're going to run. You could run Death's uh, gloves and Death's belt. Uh, you could run Saigon's boots, belt, and gloves. Um, you can run all sorts of interesting things with this set because it's not a very large set. Uh, we also get 25% lightning resistance and 25% fire resistance from the full set. Um, so as you can see down here, our resistances aren't that great in hell difficulty. But if I take this over to uh, normal difficulty, I feel like our resistances will probably be fairly decent for normal. Uh, especially considering you get the, uh, the scroll in normal for 10%, and then you stack that up and you end up with 55% uh, uh, to all. I do believe I already have the 30% bonus. Yeah, I've got the 30% bonus from the scrolls. So we're really just looking at 25% basically to all resistances um, on top of the 30. Now, taking this set in as a whole, I, I feel like this set was really designed around a melee character who was entering into Act 2. Uh, the goal of this set is really just to give you a really nice bonus to undead damage, attack rating, and defense, and get you in there so that you can just murderize some uh, some skeletons. Um, and it works very well for that. Uh, but one of the things that I think a lot of people are interested in is the Sivurb's Cudgel. Because of the scaling maximum damage and the fact that we can now upgrade it, this very well could be a very nice set that could carry you into Nightmare. And, uh, and we're going to test this out. So the first thing that we're going to upgrade is the Silver Schedule, uh, which is 8 to 140 damage at current, 37 strength, and level 9. And we're going to need a Ral, a Soul, and a Perfect Emerald. And that upgrades to 14 to 158, uh, level 30 requirement, with 76 strength requirement. Uh, very interesting. I don't really feel like that upgraded a massive amount. Um, definitely got a nice little bump there on the low end. So we went from 8 to 14, which is almost double. Um, and then the top end uh, didn't really go up too terribly much uh, from 140 to 158, which is, what, uh, 18 extra damage on the top end. Um, honestly, 14 to 158 is certainly very fine for uh, level 30 and would certainly work on just about uh, any melee character. Uh, you could certainly use this on a, uh, a paladin, or I mean, honestly, you could use it on just about any character at this level. Um, the damage is certainly fine, and uh, you could still pair it up. At least one other piece. Not bad. Let's upgrade the shield next. Bing, bing. Uh, so for the shield, we're gonna need a shale, a tail, and a perfect diamond. And I do think this is going to go up quite nicely because, number one, we're going to get more defense. And number two, I'm pretty sure we're going to get more chance to block as well. So right now we're at 29 defense, 57% chance to block, with only 2 to 4 smite damage, which is another thing that's going to go up. Um, 34 strength and level 9, which is going to go to 11 to 15 smite damage. Um, 71 defense, uh, 71 strength requirement, and level 30. So not bad. Uh, it does sit at level 25 without the green bonuses. Now, we can't upgrade the amulet, obviously, because the amulet is just, you know, it's just an amulet. Um, we can upgrade the weapon one more time from the Holy Water Sprinkler to, um, I can't even remember the name of the next one. Uh, we're going to need a Pull Rune, a Lum Rune, and a Perfect Emerald, and it's going to go from 14 to 158, 76 strength, level 30, to 45 to 176, 69 dicks, 108 strength and level 69. Uh, maybe not the best upgrade from uh, from tier 2 to tier 3. I mean, 45 to 176 is certainly not bad damage. Don't get me wrong. Uh, but uh, but it's not enough for hell difficulty. Uh, the Seraph Rod is very interesting there. Of course, you could also put a uh, enhanced damage jewel in here, and that would really make it go a lot higher. Um, but uh, unfortunately, because of the max damage effect, I don't think the max damage effect is affected by enhanced damage, so it's only going to be affecting the base damage. Um, not really quite sure what you do with this um, at this level. Um, it's a little, little underwhelming 
for level 69, but it certainly is a lot better than a lot of the other upgraded weapons that I've seen. Uh, Sivrub's Ward can also be upgraded again with a Lem, a Ko, and a Perfect Diamond, and, uh, and this will net us another upgrade in the uh, block chance. So we're going to go from 71 defense, 59% chance to block, uh, 11 to 15 smite damage with a strength requirement of 71 and a, a required level of 25, to 139 defense, 69% chance to block, 14 to 32 smite damage, and 127 strength requirement with level 60. So uh, level 48 would not uh, on an item. All in all, I think Sivurb's vestments are better left at level 9. Now, the weapon upgrade from one tier, from tier 1 to tier 2, was actually kind of nice. I'm not going to lie. And um, I think that's a pretty solid upgrade from tier 1 to tier 2. Relatively cheap runes, and, uh, and you only need a perfect emerald, which isn't too bad. And I, that could definitely carry you from normal difficulty into nightmare until you find a better weapon. The shield, on the other hand, unless you were rocking the entire set, I probably wouldn't bother. Um, the block chance did go up a little bit, and the smite damage did go up a little bit, but it wasn't really enough. Um, this particular type of shield just isn't really a very good smite damage shield. Um, now, the block chance itself uh, was definitely worth at least one tier upgrade if you were using this shield still into Nightmare Difficulty. Uh, but hopefully, by the time you get to Nightmare Difficulty, you've replaced with this with something like maybe an Ancient's Pledge, uh, a Spirit... Um, you know, any other shield, quite honestly, uh, that has more block chance, more resistances, um, and, and generally just a, a better shield all around. Now, um, for normal difficulty, though, I feel like this set is pretty solid. And, uh, and you can ride normal difficulty all the way to level 45. So if you were to upgrade this at least one tier um, into, you know, uh, tier 2, I feel like you could reliably use this uh, through normal difficulty until you get to Nightmare. Uh, the problem is, is that the resistances are really not that good, and by the time you get to Nightmare difficulty, well, your resistances are going to be looking more uh, like this. And as you can see, I'm at 15% per. And this is, of course, with all the scrolls, which means we're really going to be rocking negative 5 because we're only going to have one scroll when we get to Nightmare, uh, which means we got to subtract 20% off of this, uh, which means that goes down to 5% after you subtract 10 and negative 5% after you subtract 20. So with Sivurb set on, we're rocking at negative 20%. So you're going to need some other resistance equipment in this to even do well in Nightmare difficulty. Um, all in all, I just don't really think that this upgrade was quite worth it to, to Tier 3. A lot of the sets haven't been worth upgrades to Tier 3. Some of them have. Some of them. I won't say all of them, but some of them. Um, you know, when you're looking at upgrades, you're looking at multiple things. Um, am I getting better smite damage? And is it good enough to be worth it? Um, am I getting better kick damage? And is it good enough to be worth it? Am I getting better block chance? And is it good enough to be worth it? Is the damage going up enough? Um, is the defense going up enough? Are the requirements going up too much? Now, interestingly enough, the requirements didn't go up too much as far as the strength and dex was concerned on any of these items. However, the damage and the defense didn't go up enough to be worth the upgrade to Tier 3. To Tier 2, I feel like it was okay. Um, if you were utilizing this set and you really just wanted to keep using it for a couple more levels and to maybe get good into Nightmare and just have some fun with it, um, I feel like this set could be viable in Nightmare with one tier upgrade. Um, it's not going to be viable in Hell. Definitely not. Let's go take a look at this sexy shield before we uh, before we call this a uh, video, shall we? Look at that beautiful shield. I mean, just look at how sexy it is. Just a beautiful, beautiful graphic, I'll tell you what. Anyway, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos. And... Uh, Keep watching.